Kiev and Moscow at odds over Green Deal, U.S. drone downed after collision with Russian jet. A Russian jet collided with the propeller of the U.S. drone over the Black Sea, forcing it down, the U.S. Air Force said Tuesday. Our MQ-9 aircraft was conducting routine operations in international airspace when it was intercepted and hit by a Russian aircraft, resulting in a crash and complete loss of the MQ-9. Said Maj Gen James B. Hecker, a senior military official overseeing Air Force operations in the region. In fact, this unsafe and unprofessional act by the Russians nearly caused both aircraft to crash. Here's the latest on the war and its ripple effects across the globe. Key Developments some potential GOP presidential contenders, including Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis, said Tuesday that opposing Russia in Ukraine is not a vital American interest. Tucker Carlson of Fox News published statements from former President Donald Trump, DeSantis, and former Vice President Mike Pence, among other potential hopefuls. DeSantis dismissed Russia's invasion as a territorial dispute. Pence was in the minority in saying he backed continued support for Ukraine, in line with top congressional Republicans. At least two people died in separate strikes in Ukraine's east and northeast Tuesday morning, according to officials. The situation in the east, including in Bakhmut, is very tough, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his nightly address. But he repeated his determination to defeat the Russian military, adding that eastern Ukraine was where the future of all Ukrainians is being fought for. A 55-year-old woman was killed when a Russian projectile hit her car in the northeastern village of Vovchansk, near the border with Russia, Ola Sinyahubov, Kharkiv's regional governor, said on Telegram. Another person was killed and three were injured by a Russian rocket attack on the eastern city of Kramatorsk, the governor of the Donetsk region, Pavlo Kirilenko, said. Russia agreed to extend the Black Sea Grain deal that aims to prevent a global food crisis by letting Ukraine export vital food sources from its southern coast, but only for 60 days. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Vershinin said, That is half the length of the previous renewal made in November. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov described the extension as a goodwill gesture in a news conference Tuesday. Russia does not recognize the International Criminal Court's jurisdiction, Peskov said, according to the state-owned TASS news agency. He was responding to reports that the ICC was preparing to open cases against Russians following an investigation launched last year by its chief prosecutor into alleged war crimes committed on Ukrainian territory. Citing an unnamed source, Reuters had reported that the ICC is expected to seek its first arrest warrants against Russians in relation to alleged war crimes in Ukraine. Battleground Updates Washington Post photos from the scene, aftermath of a Russian missile strike in Kramatorsk on Tuesday. An ongoing ammunition shortage among Russian artillery units has probably worsened in recent weeks, the British Defense Ministry said Tuesday. The lack of munitions has probably prompted extremely punitive shell rationing among Russian forces along the front and may explain why no unit has recently launched operationally significant. Offensive actions, the ministry said. Ukrainian troops repelled Russian attacks in towns around Bakhmut, Ukraine's military said Tuesday. Ukrainian troops were attacked in Minkivka, about 10 miles northwest of Bakhmut center, and in Ivanovsk, about 4 miles to the city's west, among other settlements, it said. According to the Institute for the Study of War, a Washington think tank, Russian forces have made small gains and are nearing the T-0504, a highway that serves as an essential supply route to Ukrainian forces.